Hey everyone, Jerry Robbins here. Um, first off, thank you for tuning in. I'm very excited to be sharing with you a little bit about myself and what I'm up to, to hopefully, one, better your life and give you some new insights, tools, and strategies, but two, let you know what we're up to all over the world, and especially here in Australia, to give you the ability to come and join us at one of our upcoming events or voyages or crazy masterminds, whatever it is that you decide. Um, in saying that, let me give you a little bit of background about what, where I came from and what I was up to there. I started off, and I always tell people, I've had a lifetime of personal development. And what I mean by that was my very first personal development event was in, when I was in my mom's belly, and she was going through NLP master practitioner training with my godfather, John Grinder. And they were teaching her how to help people break through limiting beliefs and break through fears. And her exercise she was teaching people was how to use their bare hands to break through a brick. And so I always say through osmosis, I picked something up along the way, even when I was in her belly. And, you know, from there, my very first firewalk breakthrough experience with dad was literally at three months old when I was about this big. And he had me in his arm and he walked me across the fire. And so I've literally grown up going from seminar to seminar and seeing all these thousands of people, millions of people probably now transform their lives and have all these great transformations. But where it really started for me was right around almost 11 years ago now. And that's when I first got started really testing this information myself. I was 15 years old. I was five foot, I mean, five, nine, probably 225 pounds. I don't know what that's in stones. <laughs> um, but I was, I was a pretty hefty kid for going into high school at 15 years old. And when I got started, I wasn't healthy. I was having like B and C average grades in school. I wasn't doing so hot. And my whole thought was, I'm going to start listening and reading and learning these programs, and I'm going to test them. Because if all these people say it works, I want to know for myself, does it really work? Or is this just a bunch of fluff? So I took the information, I started applying to my life, and it was amazing what happened. I went from 5'9", 225 pounds, to playing football, playing other sports, wrestling, basketball, and all of a sudden I found myself running marathons. And I went from one marathon to the next. And I you know, did a full marathon, then a half, then a 5K, then a 10K. I kind of went backwards on that one. Um, it's a real funny story. If you, if you come see me, I'll tell you the whole thing. People land up on the floor rolling, laughing at me because I did it without any training and barely made it. But it, that's another thing. Um, so I went through running marathons and doing all that stuff to going from a B and C student to a straight A student to losing the weight to getting healthy. All this stuff happened. And then I really applied it in my life. And when I was 18 years old, I decided that, well, anyone out there, if you're watching this, do you have an 18-year-old? Or can you remember back in a time in your life when you were 18? At that stage of life, we pretty much think we know, that's right, everything. <laughs> um, in reality, we know, that's right, nothing. <laughs> but at 18, I decided to teach a, an event with a company here in the U.S. called The Learning Annex, and they made me a featured speaker on the, you know, the back page of the cover of the magazine. And I remember they marketed my event and it was called How to Change Your Life in One Night. <laughs> and so that's obviously an easy task for an 18 year old to produce for people. And so I got up and I delivered the best event I ever did in my life. And I remember I was bigger than the stage and a total of 12 people showed up, nine of which were my family, but they all paid. Um, they all showed up to hear me speak and I delivered the best event ever and I found out that I had a whole lot to learn in life. So I went to work, and that next couple of years, I went and first learned really how to work hard. I went and stacked lumber in Canada, did hard labor. After that, I went and lived in a village in Uganda for three months. Then I took literally a voyage all the way around the world where we did 10 countries in 100 days, and I got to set foot in Asia and India and Vietnam and Thailand and Tanzania and South Africa and really see the world and open my heart to what's really going on in the world. I started learning facts like 60% of the planet will never have access to running water. Most people live in villages, which I went back and lived in myself for three months with no running water, no electricity, no toilets. And they're totally abundant and filled with fulfillment on life. They're happy people. And so part of why I went back to live in that village is to find out how. What causes these people to be so joyful and so alive and so happy when seemingly they have nothing? And I come from a place in the world where people have so much, yet are so frustrated and so depressed all the time with themselves and beat themselves up emotionally for not being good enough. And I wanted to know what the difference was. So to fast forward all the way to today, 
I started working for my dad's company, spent eight years working there, getting trained, trying out, doing all these crazy things. Then I wrapped up there partially because I was not doing so hot at what the last job I had. I actually failed miserably. <laughs> but sometimes your failures in life are your biggest lessons. I learned what I was not meant to do at that stage of my life. But I took the skills I learned, I took the traits I learned, I took all the, all the tools and ideas and strategies, I applied them, and I was living in this little tiny room of a house, the front den, I rented for 500 a month, I had three roommates, I didn't even have a door, I had a curtain as my door, and it was my office, my company, and my bedroom. <laughs> and from there, I set up a website, built a business, and I went from zero to $100,000 in income in eight months. Since then, I've been growing my business, teaching other people how to do the same, growing their businesses, and really what I call achieve rapid results in their life. And since then, it's taken me all the way around the world living what I call my ideal day. And it was a process I sat down and thought about because when I was sitting there, looking around in my office, thinking this is not the life I dreamed of, my thought was how in the world am I gonna get to change this? So that fast forwards me all the way to today which now I get paid to travel the world and help people live their dreams. I get to do crazy stuff. Like we just had a 25-day 10-country retreat that we took people around the world on through Central and South America for 25 days. And we went zip lining in Costa Rica, volcano sledding in, in Nicaragua where you hike up an active volcano and sled down the side of it, 900 feet, almost a mile down. And then we went and built a school in Manta, Ecuador, or no, built a school in Guatemala for kids who wouldn't have a school without us. And then we delivered holiday cheer for toys and dolls and pencils and gear for little kids in, in Manta, Ecuador, that if we wouldn't have shown up, they really wouldn't have had a Christmas. So we get to do stuff like that, and I get to call that work. So I'm sure many of you are thinking, easy for you, kid. But I'm not telling it to impress you. I'm telling it to impress upon you the fact that I'm coming down to share with you the information of how I did this. I'm not special in this aspect. I just figured out a solution that worked by trying a bunch that didn't first, figuring out what steps work to make this possible. I've applied on myself, gotten the results, shown other people how to do the same, and now I want to come share them with you. So the first part of what we're going to talk about here is how to design and live your absolute ideal day. And when I say that, the first thing you got to figure out is what is your ideal day? And I always tell people, and we throw music on in the background and think about it, and I always say, if you were to close your eyes and imagine waking up on the morning of your absolute ideal day, what's the first thought that would cross your mind? How much energy would you have in your body even before your eyes open in the morning? As your eyes open first thing in the morning, what's the first sight you'd see? Who'd be there with you on your perfect day? As you got out of bed, what's the first thing you'd go do on that day? You know, from 9 a.m. till noon, what's all the things you'd want to experience? Where would you want to go? Who would you want to be there with? What would you want to learn or share or give or feel or experience? What, you know, what books would you read? What classes would you take? What, what office would you go to to work at? What are all the things you do on your perfect day? Where would you go for lunch? Who would be there? What would you have for lunch? How much laughter, joy, fun, excitement would be there on that day? As you fill up the afternoon, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., what's all the things you'd want to accomplish and feel and see and hear and do and experience? You know, would you stop and watch the sunset just to soak in the beauty of life on your perfect day? You know, for dinner, what would you do for dinner? Who would be there? How much fun and laughter and joy and craziness would be around the table? Maybe it would be a dinner for one or two or maybe a dinner for the whole family. After that, would you be one of those crazy families that plays like Pictionary or Charades or something after dinner? Or would you sit down by a warm fire and read a book and just cuddle up and snuggle? And as you went to bed that night, what would you truly be grateful for looking back on your perfect day? And obviously that's an abbreviated version of a longer process we do with people. But in thinking of that, I remember a moment in my life when I was not living my ideal day. <laughs> you know, I was waking up and I was working three jobs at my, my father's company and I was doing inside sales on the phone um, so I was dialing for dollars. Uh, one of the jobs I actually enjoyed, which I was coaching people on their health and their fitness and their emotional well-being and how to transfer that, which I really understood and I loved that part. And this third job is I was stuffing boxes at the warehouse, which looked like something like this. Open the box, pull out the program, open the program, pull out the manual, flip to the back of the manual, pull out one page, put in one page, close the manual, put it in the box thing, zip it shut, put it in the box, close the box, put it in the big box, get to the next box, pull it out, do it again. And I remember one day after doing that at least 1,500 times. I might be exaggerating, but it felt like 1,500 times. 
I remember at the end of that day thinking, no more. This is not what I was meant to do with my life. And I went and sat down and I said, if this is not what I was meant to do with my life, what was I meant to do with my life? What is my perfect vision for my life? And someone forwarded me this little exercise from a book called Witchcraft by Barbara Stanley. And I remember opening up this, this book and looking at it and thinking, dang, I need to do this exercise. And I sat down and thought about everything that would happen in my dream life. I would be traveling and learning and teaching and speaking and coaching. And I would be helping people and volunteering. Basically, I'd work all week to earn money and on the weekend, or I'd work on the weekend to make money. And all during the week, I'd give that money back to the people who need it most. I would have these amazing events where I inspire people to live their passions and do this philosophy called live it, give it, where they first live it in their own life and then they give it forward to other people to do the same. And I was like, and I'd, I'd get paid to you know, go all over the world and see all these great places. And I remember sitting there in that room looking around and going, well, this is surely not close. <laughs> I was $25,000 in credit card debt. I was making maybe $1,500, $2,000 a month in income. And I was living in a room that didn't even have a door on it, which was my office and my company and my room, <laughs> my bedroom to sleep in. And I was sitting there thinking, wow. How in the world am I going to make this paper dream into my reality? And what literally happened was I started making a plan of action of what steps I could do each day to turn that vision and idea into my real life. And what ended up happening was in eight months, I went from 25000 in debt to $0 to $100,000 in income. And I never forget, probably almost 12 or 13 months later, I was sitting under the Eiffel Tower in Paris, sitting there having lunch. And I looked up and smiled because I just got done earlier that day giving a workshop in London to a big group of people. And I remember smiling thinking, oh my gosh, I did it? Holy smokes. Well, not all of it, but most of it, it came true. And I was so excited. Um, this is actually a free gift we give away to people. So if you're watching this, um, I'm sure we'll, we'll give the link over to Paul and, and he can have the link on the page for you and you can grab an absolute free copy of this. So the Rapid Results Workshop, when people ask me, where did it come from? Why did you put together? What's it all about? Generally what we did, and just very simply what we did, is we took all the things that had happened to me in my life. So going zero to $100,000 in income, really, I mean, along the way of that path of really transferring and learning all those things, learning to work hard, learning to fall in love with my life, even though I was living in a village with no running water, no electricity, no toilets. <laughs> And how do you really find fulfillment in those places with very little in your life? And how do you achieve big things while feeling fulfilled no matter how little or how much you have? That was the goal. And so when I went and lived those things through stacking lumber and working hard, living in the village and learning to fall in love with my life with very little, through those processes, I took everything that happened, then I went and applied myself and really applied myself. I got a gold medal from the U.S. Congress for my community service hours, my um, personal development, physical development, and living in that village for a few months. I was only supposed to live there three days, but I ended up staying for three months. Um, went a little over the necessary requirements for the medal, but I got to fly to Congress and receive a gold medal for all that when I was, you know, 20-something years old. And in doing that, it really got me into the momentum of, wow, if I can earn that medal, if I can achieve finishing a marathon, if I can go from zero to $100,000 in income in eight months and grow the company every year since, and then how can I, the question was, how can I replicate this for other people? So in the beginning, I literally worked one-on-one -on -one with people and I would help them specifically figure out where they are, where they want to go, what's their vision, what tools do they need, and close the gap. And so that's what I did. Just recently, I got an email back from a client who went from, Three million to let me get the exact number. I always say this wrong. Um, let's see. He went from three million to one sec. Let me see if I can read this testimonial for you guys real quick. Jarek's coaching not only helped me expand my real estate business from three million to twelve point nine million, a four hundred thirty-three percent increase. He also helped me improve the quality of my life. That was Paul Yarmo, who's a real estate agent here in the states. And he took his business from 3 million to 13.9 million in just two years. And in doing that, that's the kind of formula I was using in my life. So not only did I help myself do it, but now I'm helping others do it. And my goal was not how can I help a bunch of one-on-one -on -one people? Because when I built my business, I went from zero clients to within eight months, I had 52 coaching clients a month. 
which if you're a coach out there, you know as well as I do, that equals a great business and no life. <laughs> I was waking up at five in the morning, working out, getting ready, living all my material, reading a book, getting prepared for my 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., quick lunch, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., sometimes a 7 and 8 p.m. call, then doing my paperwork, relaxing, reading a book, going to bed, doing it again, six days a week. And I was, again, looking around saying, hey, I've got a great business and I've got no life. <laughs> so my thought was, how do I live my extraordinary vision for my life and make a massive difference in lots of people's lives? Because I kind of maxed out at 52 clients. So my thought was first, you know, turn it into a program, turn it into an event, which will allow me to coach people in a group all at once at the same time. So my goal is to take you know a few hundred people at a time right now, put them in a room, and share with them the seven-step rapid result formula, as well as a whole day's experience of how to apply it, how to prepare, how to get it on paper. And instead of one of those workshops or seminars that you go to and they just teach you the concepts, I wanted people to actually apply it in the room. So I could probably teach the event in three, four hours and just give you all the steps versus the reason we do the whole day event is in the morning we teach the concept. In the afternoon, we literally apply it to your life. Instead of just telling you to have a crystal clear vision, we do a 45 minute process to help you create the vision, help you write it on paper, and help you literally create a plan so that when you leave, you have a physical plan on paper of exactly what you need to do every day to turn that vision into reality. So that's why we created this event, to literally make it happen. And the final thing we do, I'm not going to spoil it, but we have a, a surprise breakthrough experience for people at the end of the event because the final piece is now that you have a plan, now that you have your rocket fuel, your reason why, now that you're totally aligned, you've got everything out of the way, you know what you need to do, the only thing that could stop you might be a limiting belief or a fear or something, a habit, a pattern that self-sabotage so we created a final breakthrough experience that we wrap up the day with to ensure that you break through anything that would hold you back and give yourself the freedom to go have the fulfillment that you desire and deserve. So the final piece here is what I call the foundational freedom formula. And what this is, is I don't know if you've ever seen that video by, I think it was Apple Macintosh they released called Think Different. And it says, you know, those of us who are crazy enough to think we can change the world are the ones who usually do. And it shows the pictures of all the crazy people, Richard Branson, the Dalai Lama, Mother Teresa, like all these people who changed the world. And they were crazy at the time, they thought, because they had a different vision for what they saw the world doing. And no one believed them or even thought it was possible. And I'm kind of the same way when it comes to watching people live a life that is not them daily living and only focused on what they're passionate about. It drives me insane to watch people go out there in the world and do stuff that they're not passionate about, to just survive through their nine to five job and you know survive week to week where they go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday working a job and then on the weekend, oh, I get to relax and oh shoot, the, you know, the Mondays again or whatever they call it. It drives me insane because why is that person, if they love to paint, why are they not painting? If they love to dance, why are they not dancing? If they love to sing or teach or learn or be an incredible mother or father, why are they not doing that? If they love adventure, why are they not on crazy adventures every day? It drives me insane. And people tell me because, you know, you can't get paid to do that stuff. And this is where I'm crazy enough to beg to differ. I really don't believe that philosophy. I believe in the philosophy that I call the foundational freedom formula, which is number one, you have to take time to identify what is your passion in life. And I don't care whether it's dancing, singing, learning, growing, numbers, taxes, spreadsheets, whatever it is for you. Garfield the cat, I don't care. But whatever you love, what you could talk about 24-7, what you were made to do, what literally when you're doing it, you fall in love with life. And when you fall in love with life, time disappears, you disappear, and nothing else matters. Like when you have those moments where just a day zips by and you're like, wow, what happened? Where'd that whole day go? Those moments are what I'm talking about. So number one, you have to identify and live your passion. Number two, you have to figure out, and this takes a little creativity. How do you add massive value to the community around you through your passion? 
How do you take that passion of dancing, learning, singing, growing, cooking, whatever, and add so much value to the community around you that it literally blows them away? It makes them, their jaw drop, and them sit there and go, wow, look at this guy go, look at this lady go, this is amazing. Not only how do you add the value, step number three, this is where we finally say, listen, you deserve to live a good life too. Not just give away your gift for free all day, but step three is how do you monetize the value you add? How do you get to monetize that value to make sure that as you're giving, as you're sharing, as you're helping everybody, you get to live a great life too? And you get to provide for your family and community and everything else. And one thing I'll tell you is this. There's an old quote that says, life supports that which supports life. Life supports that which supports life. Therefore, you have to find a way to say, as I'm adding value, how do I make my passion that I'd like to monetize and get paid for, how do I make my passion through living it daily support the lives of everyone else around me? Support the community, support you know, the arts, whatever. Support it so much so that it would be impossible for people not to want to support you because of how much you're supporting you in the community and making a difference in the world. So step one, live your passion. Step two, add massive value through your passion. Step three, monetize the value you add. Step four, set it all up so that you have absolute freedom and fulfillment along the journey. And what I mean by this is you need the ability to you know, go when you want, where you want, with whoever you want, however often you want. You want to become a business owner, not a business operator that's stuck in your business all the time, running it 25 hours a day or 17 hours a day. Literally, you want the freedom. And I always thought it was possible for someone young like me who, yes, I have a girlfriend and we travel the world all the time together, do these crazy trips you know, for 15 or 25 days. But I'll never forget, I was teaching a 25-day 10-country retreat, and on board I sat down next to a guy who was there with himself, his wife, and his two kids. And I thought, wow, how did you and your whole family take 25 days off? And he started laughing. He goes, 25 days? That's easy. Last year, we set up our company so that my wife, my two kids, and myself, we spent three months going around the world on this same ship, 10 countries in three months hanging out. And I looked at him, I'm like, wow, I can see that doing it as a, like a young single person or a young person with a girlfriend or just married, but with a whole family? How? And he says, listen, we set up our system differently. We set it up on purpose so that our team runs the whole office, the whole procedure, so that we have the freedom to go out and do stuff that makes us totally fulfilled and alive. That totally blew my mind. Because I could understand how a single person can do it. I could understand how a young person can do it. I can understand how an, a retired person can do it. How in the world does a whole family person do it? And that guy opened my reality to what was possible. So that foundational freedom formula gives you the ability to live your passion, add value, monetize it, and really live the life of your dream so that you have that total freedom and fulfillment every day of your life. So I, I guess the final piece is people are always wondering, you know, what am I going to walk away with from this event? And everyone's going to tell you, you're going to be healthier and happier and I'm sure better looking and everything else they tell you that's going to happen when you come to these events. Um, but here's what the reality of what I want you to walk away with. I want you to walk away with, on paper, a step-by-step -step action plan of exactly the actions you need to go take to take you from where you are right now to living your ideal day in your life. And I want to give you an experience. That's why we put the link with this video to literally, so you can download the kit. It's a 30-minute audio or a 30-minute audio book along with a physical PDF ebook that you can go through the process in advance and start living it. You can test out our material before you even get to the event. And trust me, when it starts working, come join us and we'll help you amplify it and really show you some tools on how to speed up the process instead of just going through the normal steps. But we really want people to have literally on paper a plan of action, a map per se. And it's not a formula, it's not a perfect guide or a computer program, it's a map. The reason you use a map is if you're going to go from point A to point B, along the way you might have a detour. You know, you might hit a road that says road closed at this moment in history, so you've got to go, oh shoot, pull out the map and say, what other routes can I use to get to destination B? Same thing in life. We want to help you create that road map so that you have so many options of how to close that gap 
that when you leave, this will be your formula for the next three months, six months, 12 months of your life to literally turn those dreams into reality.